Over the past six years, we've been proud to recognize and celebrate 31 extraordinary women for their outstanding contributions to GTB, our clients, and our community. Each year, winners are selected based on a robust set of criteria, including their accomplishments both at work and outside of the office, the impact of those accomplishments in helping others, dedication and effort level involved, and overall integrity. So let's start this year's Winning Women Awards and thank our 2021 Winning Women for being an inspiration for us all. I think programs like the Women's Winning Awards give us an opportunity to showcase and amplify voices. It's important to give women a voice and give women this opportunity to speak so that others can see them and say, this is possible. It is a forum to recognize, encourage, and inspire women to take that step in realizing their goals. While this forum is to elevate women, I think it is more, the biggest purpose of this is to show inclusivity. I think they're directly related to our DEI commitments, our DEI strategy to ensure that we are finding unique opportunities that will help to elevate our employees. And that applies, you know, to close the women to male gap, that applies with our people of color, that applies across the board to all individuals within an organization. It's continuously challenging until the gap is closed, until we reach a point where there is true equality. I was filled with gratitude when I won the award. You have an elevated feeling when you're recognized in a more of a public forum. It did many things for me personally. Firstly, I felt it was a sort of a validation that you know you bring uh, what you do is valued. Secondly, it did uplift my spirit. It kept me going in the face of the many challenges. I have noticed something within myself that I'm able to now more openly share my diverse thought and action that I bring to the table. I love the Choose to Challenge theme this year because it reminds us that we're not done yet and we have a long ways to go before we're done. I think it also connects to our core values, especially on the brave one, right? I think it takes courage and to really challenge the status quo, to be a bit of a risk taker, to point out when there are inequalities and to demand for change takes a lot of braveness. How do we lay the path for others to follow? Clearly, at least, you know, this types of, these types of forums give us the opportunity to do so. Every day, I think the women at GTV are choosing to challenge and make our house in, in Hudson Rouge, and I think it's an awesome thing, and I love that we celebrate them through this award ceremony. It helps reinforce the values of a company. If a company says we value X, Y, and Z, you want to do things publicly that reinforce that. This is the kind of behavior we want to reinforce and we want to highlight. Forums such as WIN are pivotal to an organization. These types of celebrations make you keep that spirit up and have a more positive attitude. When we find opportunities to not only elevate voices, but to really meaningfully recognize key contributors through the organization, it is special. I really loved seeing all of the amazing programming that has gone behind Women's History Month, including these incredible awards that amazing, strong women from all over the world will be receiving. And I'm so happy to be participating in it. I nominated Stacy, June, Magda, Mariana, Michelle, because she's acted as a role model for many people, not just other women. She has displayed such empathy and incredible support for her team. And continue to be a person of integrity, of thoughtfulness, of kindness. She's enthusiastic, she's hardworking, she's humble, um, she's inclusive. She is very intelligent and competent in what she does. Her commitment, not only with the client, but also with us. She is an incredible woman and very much deserves the Winning Woman Award. She is the paradigm of a winning woman. And she cares about people. And she's really pushed the needle for what can be accomplished, even during these challenging times. I just look forward to seeing what she will accomplish next.
Hi, my name is June Findlay. I'm a brand conversation manager at Hudson Rouge Canada based in Toronto. I lead social for the Canadian part of the Lincoln business. On any given day, I can be a copywriter, a translator, a curator, be involved in influencer marketing, community manager, translator, project manager, art director, creative director, and sometimes all on the same day. So we did one of our first major content partnerships with Refine29 slash Vice. We did a road trip from Toronto to Niagara Falls. Not only did we end up with some wonderful shots for our content channels, we ended up using those photos in an article that was published on Refine29 that got over 7 million views, I believe, in the time that it was published. And I think it's one of my personal favorite projects to date. When I was in grad school, I wrote my thesis on charitainment. Charities need to be mindful of how they use the power of charitainment, of spectacle, and of framing the message towards an audience to be able to make people act. To, to incite action, you really need to be mindful of how you incite people to act because the motive can be genuine, but sometimes the message can get lost in the execution. And so that's essentially what I wrote about. It's not that charitainment itself, the marriage of chari um, charity and celebrity endorsements and entertainment is bad, but if you have to be mindful of how the message is transmitted, because if you don't, then it can be lost and then there could be other dire consequences like money being misled, people being misled about an issue, misinformed, disinformation. Those are all consequences that can happen when you don't mind your message properly. So after the uprising, after George Floyd's murder last year, well, I remember feeling extremely exhausted, tired, disillusioned, even scared in some ways. And I was like, what is it that I can do to really help? Yeah, last year I turned 37, so I decided, okay, there are 37 Black-owned, Black-facing, or Black-serving organizations or businesses or initiatives or causes that I'll either bring attention to or help or donate to. So, you know, if I have the means to be able to stay home and be safe and donate, let me do that. And it looks like I inspired others to do that too, which is great. My advice for women working at GTV and Hudson Rouge and really anywhere is to be proud of yourself. Be your own hype man, be your own paparazzi, be your own cheerleader, especially if you identify as a woman of color because no one is going to do that for you. You know your own strengths, even if you doubt them sometimes. Believe in yourself. I know it sounds super cheesy, but you really have to hype up yourself because if you don't, no one else will. Like validation is nice, and it, it sometimes it helps keep the, the momentum going, but validate yourself above anybody else. And as long as you do that, everything else is good. So my name is Magda, Magdalena Triandafilidis. Um, I run GTB Australia. We're based in Melbourne and um, in Richmond, although not for the last 12 months, obviously, we've all been working from home. GTB Australia is an incredible small agency and we are the true integrated package. And I think so much of what we all do every single day is work together and it's disciplines, working with other disciplines hand in hand every single moment. And that's very much the core of who we are and who we've always been. So. We work with other WPP partners. We obviously work within the agency village and various departments at Ford as well. We basically had an email that came through from WPP AUNZ on a Sunday and it was a case of, sorry, you can't come into the office for obvious reasons with COVID. And um, I then sent an email out to my entire team and touched base with a few of them one-on-one. And 9.30 the next morning, the entire team is on Teams in a group call in our Jumpstart normal Monday morning Jumpstart call. And it was absolutely phenomenal. The fact that none of us knew what was going on. We didn't have any more information than that. There was simply this email overnight and everyone was switched on and ready to go and the team have just been utterly incredible you know productivity is incredible the humor that people bring into the conversations that we have and we've got a really nice rhythm and cadence that we've developed really from day one so it's it's been remarkable Right back when GTV was forming and I first started, we had to build up a culture, a GTV culture that was unique to us and it was um, bespoke to Ford as well. So we landed on five core values and they're, you know, be uncomfortable with comfortable, I've got your back, question why and push boundaries, be nice to each other, be hard on the work. And the really important one is um, we're on a road trip, not a test drive, we're a single client agency. So you've got to be in it for the long haul and, and you've really got to learn along the way and, and celebrate as you go along. So we started celebrating incredible behaviour against those, those values. 
what we do is we have a monthly good egg. So anyone can nominate anyone for any one of those values and often it's more than one of those values. And on a monthly basis, we call out the winner of that month's good egg. Now, anyone who's been nominated across the entire year has the opportunity to, um, to basically win the good egg of the year prize. And that prize is a $2,000 study grant that can be used throughout the, the following year. What's really amazing is you get to the end of the year and we have a beautiful celebration typically at the end of every year um, with client and ourselves. And we, we talk to the client about these values as well and, and they celebrate them. So yeah, the team's very, very familiar with it all. And I think that's probably the glue that binds us all together. Uh, one particular charity that we've done some work with is the Smith family and they help with disadvantaged children to get the most out of their education. So our team members are self-selected to take on a mentoring role across that school term, helping these disadvantaged kids with homework or just general advice on school life. Um, and then there's other things that the team have been involved in. So there's Million Paws Walk, which is all about fighting animal cruelty. And it's supporting all of those charities, making sure that anyone in the team gets to say to everyone, hey, this is what I'm doing. Can you jump on board? And, and what you find is the team are very much all about jumping on board and helping out. The biggest piece of advice, I think, I mean, there's so many, but the, the really big one is to use your voice, call things out, but equally to give other people the space for their and, and the confidence to use their voice. So it's a balance of both. My name is Stacy Dunn. I am the Managing Director of Strategy in the US at GTB. So I lead the strategy team in the US. I work with an amazing team of really smart, really motivated people who want to do really good work. My day to day is uh, never the same. I'm often getting pulled in a, a lot of different directions, whether it's um, help on uh, the retail strategy side or the CRM strategy, social strategy. I'm getting pulled in a lot of different directions. Um, so I started my career in brand planning. And when I came to GTB, I actually worked on non Ford business. We pitched in one sports authority, which was super cool. I worked on Bosch. We actually won an Effie for our campaign on Bosch. I worked on Scott's, JCI, some other things. But at one point I needed to move on and there was a spot open on the Ford truck business. Uh, for digital strategy. So I learned digital and I um, and I tried to bring new approaches to, to that side of strategy. Um, and it was, I got to help launch the aluminum F-150 and then the Super Duty aluminum truck. And I got to uh, help launch the Ranger, which was a ton of fun. Now I'm actually working on what I'd say is like the next evolution of precision marketing, right? So as we start to get more data, and we find new ways to connect that data. We really have so many more opportunities to create more personal and uh, interesting con uh, content and experiences with individuals. And it's, it's really cool. And, and the idea of personalizing content based on everything that we're now learning, again, at the individual level is really exciting. And, um, and I'd say it's, it's like charting new territory. You know, I get to work with some super smart people and, um, and I'm finding it incredibly fascinating. I started the Pride Group at the agency a few years back. It started because in 2015, I was sitting at my desk and I read the news that the US Supreme Court had finally overturned DOMA once and for all. I jumped up and I started cheering. I was like, yes, it's awesome. And my team was all around me and they're like, yeah, that, that's great. And, and they were all happy for me, but it, it didn't really impact them, but it impacted me huge. It, it changed my world, it changed my family. And I realized at the t at the moment, I said, I don't really have anyone at the Asian team to celebrate this news with. So I, I thought, you know, I'm gonna start a team, a LGBTQ team and bring people together. So I knew some people that I thought might be interested and uh, I, you know, asked, them, asked around and others told me, hey, you might wanna reach out to this person. And, um, and, you know, it started as happy hours and potlucks, but eventually it turned into a team who did some really cool things around the agency. We built a LGBTQ historical timeline of all like big milestones in our history. And then we asked people to please come and contribute. What, what does the future look like? Or what should it look like? What could it look like? And then one time we actually brought in a, a group of young adults in uh, from local LGBTQ nonprofits and we helped them create video content for their organization and they posted their social channels and they loved it it was great get involved if you want to get involved with us um, please all are welcome and and uh, we love the help so the advice i would give to other women at 
GTB is find your own voice, right? The world does not need us to keep striving to be like others, whether it's like successful men that we see or like the strong women we admire. I'd say a pivotal point in my career was actually when I stopped focusing on how others did things. And I just started saying, you know what? Too bad, this is how I do it. And it, it changed me. It, I felt my confidence grow. I felt like my creativity and my optimism just flourished. And honestly, it's a big part of why I love what I do and why I'm really glad I stayed in advertising. Um, and I say that the world, what the world needs is brave women who contribute to the world by being exactly who they are. It's okay if we think differently, if we do things different than others, if you know we wanna change how people treat each other. We as an agency grow and as a culture we grow by acting on what makes us different and unique um, because I, we all have something interesting to contribute. Hi, my name is Mariana Coelho. I'm a strategy manager at GTB Brazil. It's pretty hard to define what I do because I do a lot of things. All the projects that I'm working with was to deliver the best experience to consumer. So if you want to buy a car, we're gonna do it the best way. We're gonna provide your favorite channels. We now need to deliver the message to the right people that need that message. I always work with services brands. I never worked for a product brand. And when I saw the opportunity to work with a high value product brand, I said, okay, I think that it could be nice. My boss sent me this information that they were nominating me. I really cried. I, I, I didn't tell to anyone for two days because I was so emotional <laughs> and I said okay it is really nice to win it is I'm not gonna I'm not, never gonna say something different than this outside GTB what I really want to do is to give my time to people to help people what I can do right now is to provide the, the basic guidance to our communities. So since last year, I'm collaborating with some NGOs that work inside these communities, inside the favela, providing food, providing fresh water, providing medicine, and everything that the community needs. Que a gente nunca duvide da gente. De vez em quando uma situação, uma pessoa pode fazer com que a gente acredite que não somos bom, boas o suficiente, mas na verdade a gente tem que acreditar na gente. E se tiver difícil, a gente levanta a mão e conversa com outra mulher. É muito importante que a gente se mantenha próxima, se mantenha junta, juntas e que, e que a gente não deixe de acreditar uma nas outras e na gente mesmo. My name is Michelle Johnson. I'm an account supervisor with Hudson Rouge, and I've been with the agency since 2018. I started at GTB in 2015, originally working on the Ford business, and now working with Hudson Rouge, supporting Lincoln.com, owner.lincoln.com, our one-to-one -one business, as well as our shopper communication. From a day-to-day -day perspective, my business involves working with our clients and our business owners to support messaging on the Lincoln website as well as the owner website. And we ensure that communications go out to ensure that those shoppers have the information that they need when they're looking for um, new vehicle information. I work with a number of different agency partners who manage the website, who manage the communications and ensure that everything is timely, uh, is updated, and so really just managing uh, those projects every single day. The culture at the agency is really vibrant. I enjoy coming in and engaging uh, with my fellow co-workers, with my teammates. And so one of the things that GTB has allowed me to 
is be a part of the ACE group, which is the African American Cultural and Experiences group. We put on different events, different educational opportunities for the agency at large to learn more and to engage with um, members of African American and African descent. So being able to interact with my fellow coworkers from an African American perspective makes the work that much easier when you can celebrate some of the things about yourself uh, that's not just about the work. I co-founded, if you will, uh, the Curious Souls group alongside a colleague. And the purpose of Curious Souls is really for employees to have a safe space to discuss their faith. We have a weekly prayer group where we recognize different requests from the employees who opt to share. It's, it's completely voluntary. It's been such a wonderful blessing for me personally to be able to share uh, my faith and my experiences with my coworkers. Family is so important to me. That is who I am. My cousins are truly my best friends. My siblings, we probably video chat almost every other day. <laughs> so family is such a huge part of, of who I am. So the one piece of advice that I would give to um, any women at GTB, Hudson Rouge or WPP is don't be afraid to communicate don't be afraid to be vulnerable and don't be afraid to have fun. I am a people person and working at GTB, working at Hudson Rouge, the people are amazing. And so I know that coming into work every day, uh, there's gonna be work, there's gonna be fire drills, there's gonna be assignments, but the people are what make the day bearable. The people are what bring that joy to the work. And so try not to stress out uh, at the end of the day, um, those deadlines will get met, those budgets will get sorted out. Um, having that communication and having that openness uh, is really so important. So I highly encourage women to get involved, um, find that community of either other women or other colleagues to just help make the work that much more bearable. Thank you for joining us in celebrating our 2021 Winning Women. On behalf of the entire WIN leadership team, congratulations. congratulations.